the chicken just got here in time. <laughs> oh my god, the chicken just flew in. <laughs> hey, Caroni, how are you? <laughs> my the chicken was napping because it's four o'clock and we need coffee. <laughs> we need coffee. Let's talk. Um, let's talk coffee. Let's talk coffee, all right. Um, yeah, I'm so there right now. It's been one of those kind of days. And I'm excited to show you my coffee secrets, Debra. I know. I am so <laughs> into it. <laughs> you know, coffee is one of those things, like everything else, um, culinary, you can get into the levels of coffee, like wine or cheese or all the, you know, incredible things we have to eat out there. Because it, it's really, it's endless, right? Yes. Like, you know, so um, I'm super into it. I'm a cough, proud coffee achiever. I am not ashamed. Um, that's my first, and I would say, working, you know, production in LA years ago, you know, it would just be a normal thing to have six to eight cups of coffee a day. And I was like, you know, this. Yep. Um, now, see, because I have my gigantic. Because <laughs> you have a swimming pool with a handle on it. <laughs> I'm, in Corona times, I'm just doing one latte, you know, in the morning and maybe one in the afternoon, but that's it, really. Excuse um, me. So, excuse I me. Have, I, <laughs> I just like it strong, dark, powerful. That's how I like coffee. Would you have a preference? No, I like it. I like it strong. I don't like it bitter. So I, I think care. those are two different ways of separating out what you're saying. Yeah, I don't like it bitter, and I also don't like it sweet. That's just no. sweet. I like a little bit to soften the edge, but not um, not sweet coffee. I don't either. I don't like that either. Um, we stayed at a coffee a coffee plantation in um, Panama on our honeymoon. Oh wow. And they grew the coffee there. It was so cool. They made their own coffee liqueur and stuff. And he told us then that French roast is um, the coffee that got kind of burned. <laughs> mm -hmm. And what do we have today? French roast. French roast. I never buy French roast. I always buy Guatemalan because or um or Ecuadorian coffee. I actually I don't have French roast today. Normally I buy Italian roast because I like yeah. it better than French roast. But, yeah, I do too. Um I got this stuff called black lightning. <laughs> oh, Lord. And, uh, it is from Aroma Coffee of Santa Fe. Mm-hmm. Local company, it's organic, it's fair trade. Um, where do they? I don't know where they buy their um, beans, but um, you know, it's like where the, where the beans are from. Like if they're African or South actually, American. Uh, actually, yeah. hang on, hang yeah. on. Something magical happens when you roast coffee beans at seven thousand feet in the high desert of Santa Fe, New Mexico. Oh. Of course, we start with the highest quality Arabica beans from around the world that carefully hot air roast them in small batches, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, Aroma Coffee in Santa Fe. So that's, I, I try to always buy local if I can. Um, I'm going to do some shout outs. My favorite coffee in New Mexico is Prismatic. It's in oh. Albuquerque. Um, I, have, I have been going to Iconic which is here in Santa Fe, uh, which is right down the street from me, uh, which mm -hmm. I like to support. But I'm sorry to say I think Prismatic is better. I My favorite place in Santa Fe is Sky. And they do small batch coffee, and it, they change it frequently. Um, I really like their coffee. I like their coffee, too. Um, I had a bad experience there where the barista kind of snapped at me last time. But well, that doesn't have anything to do with their coffee, but I I hear you. I don't like that when the barista is not fun. <laughs> when you get a mean barista, no. Be nice to the people who need your coffee. Um, 
<laughs> but coffee is really like wine or olive oil or any of those things where you have to grow the plant and then where are you growing it and how is the plant treated and then how is the fruit treated once it's harvested and how do you roast it i mean there's so many variables so you really you know there's endless amounts of coffee to try in your life you know that that's the fun part you know it's really the same mm -hmm. kind of thing as wine um but what I've been told, and my, my whole coffee experience has evolved. Um, I used to be an espresso only and like macchiatos and shots of coffee, you know. Um, and then I then I I got real. <laughs> like, oh, the Chemdex. Yeah, I have one of those. I don't. Do people know what Chem? People know what Chemdex is. It's um, it's an incredible um coffee design company and they make these um percolators and filters and they have all these products and they're just purists um and they really believe in just the best things have to go in and that means the material so they hand blow these this glass so there are no chemical there's no chemical taste because everything goes into the, your the coffee mm. you have to have the purest water you have to have the best beans and ground a certain way and all this stuff. So I want to thank my sister. She, Holly, she gave me this incredible coffee set up for Christmas. Um, and then I have my, uh, so I updated from once we last spoke and uh, about coffee. And then my dear business partner, Sarah, gave me, this is my life changer, my foamer. Oh, yeah, um, the foamer. <laughs> that just made it, oh, my God, like, forget it. So uh, I can make really amazing coffee at home that I love and say can save her. Um, so I'm just going to go through it with you. Um, okay. So the first thing you start off with, of course, are the beans. And I always buy whole beans. What about you? Yeah. Always. I just, you can't, you really, guys, you can't buy ground beans, okay? It's just not mm -hmm. the same. No, it's the same thing if you buy ground, already ground up garlic, already ground up spices. They yeah. lose, they lose, you lose all those essential oils while they're just sitting there out in the air. I'm telling you, it's night and day. Look, it takes two minutes. Mm -hmm. Just do it. You know what I mean? Just do it. Mm -hmm. uh, you really, uh, so I poured some beans in the grinder. Um, it takes a couple of seconds. I'm going to, and I have this on four, which is a, semi-fine grind. Um, I'm not doing it too coarse because uh, it's going to go through a filter. Of course, if I were doing espresso, it would be finer. Mm -hmm. but, um, but we're not doing that. I'm doing a pour over. With and that has to do with what my understanding is, how much water goes over the surface. So if you finely grind it, then you have more surface area for the water to touch. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. And you, you have to find that sweet spot through experimentation, like anything else, of what works best with your filter and whatever device, you know, you're using. Um, I sent out that funny um, post today, and I just thought the, the Keurig thing was so funny. It's like, who hurt you? You <laughs> 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 that? I'm so against curing. No, no, curing. No. No. no, it's so cheaty. That is the downfall of humanity. Okay, here we go. For many reasons. Not the yeah. I also like, and we'll talk about the byproduct, is coffee flour. Oh, okay. I, have, I have bags of coffee flour. Of course, in my freezer. <laughs> I, I was, I was going to ask you that, but then I thought, no, surely. <laughs> yes, I have coffee flour. A coffee flour, it comes on. Um, oh, look, here, here. Here's a bag of it. And it, it it's the um, flour part that they pull off the bean. Wow. And then they grind it up, and it's full of antioxidants. It's wow. so good for you. And then so, what do you do? Um, I, you can use it. This thing says you can use it in a smoothie. Um, but I, I don't do that. I bake with it. So, um, I'll add like a tablespoon of it to, um, to a, whatever I'm making cookies it says, it has, I'll read this to you more iron than spinach, add antioxidants and protein to whatever it is you're making. 
So uh, I just add it to whatever I'm baking. And then I'm very convinced that whatever I'm baking is healthy. <laughs> well, I have never even heard of that, quite honestly. And um, I think that's remarkable. What a remarkable plant. There are just some plants it's amazing. on our planet that, that blow my mind. That and like hemp and, you know, other things where... It's just, it, it's incredible the amount of bad things that you can do with it. But does it make the cooking taste like coffee or no? Not, Not at all. all. No, David adds it to the to bread also. No, it'll add, it's brown, so it adds a color to it, wow. but you don't taste it. No, you don't, it, it's not like you're adding cup for cup. It's right, like right, a right. tablespoon to a whole recipe. That's kind of how I feel and about it. it doesn't have caffeine in it. I put flaxseed in everything. Kind yeah. Of like with coffee flour. Um, so I can't begin to explain. I wish we had um, smell TV because um, uh, like it, it, it's phenomenal. Like your house smells so good, you, you feel good. I think you just get a jolt from just. Well, it's, a, it's aromatherapy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this crazy Chemdex. Oh my God, it's an origami that you have to do with the filter, but. Um, I've learned the methods. <laughs> um, it's weird. You um, for the small one, and this is one that just gives you two cups. Um, but of course, they have the three and four cup size, the five and six cup size, and I just have the small one. And the other, larger ones have the like pre-folded, you know, like a Melita filter type mm -hmm. of deal. But for some bizarre reason, the baby tiny one. You know, you have to do this for a thing, and I don't know why, but that's what they. Do. Well, that looks like you're go you're the flying nun. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, it looks just like a flying nun hat. <laughs> maybe there's some symbolism there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, you take this thing and you you fold over this one side, and I'm just gonna do it really quickly. Basically. Now I've got it down to the science now. Now I think it's just kind of fun and part of my coffee ritual. Well, it, yeah, all of that stuff becomes part of a ritual when you make it. I, I, I still think there's a ritual around my coffee, and I'm not doing that, but there still is, like the grinding of the beans and all that stuff. Yeah, you really, that's what heroin addicts say. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> there's a ritual. Um, there's a ritual. Um, so when you fold it this special way. You want to make it so that the three-sided, thicker side is the part that goes in the pour spout. You'll see what I mean if you get one of these things. You get used to it. Anyway, you stick it in there. Um, so now you have your filter. Okay. Um, the next thing you must do is you need to um, heat up the water. And I'm heating it up not in a microwave, but in a... No, not in a microwave. <laughs> a little down home, Hamilton Beach, you know, just water thing. And um, it will boil it to be extremely hot. And I I have to have hot yes. uh, water. I don't know about you. I need hot, hot. Absolutely, yes. Warm coffee is the worst. Yes. Um, so. We I'll can show you my little mug. I got this. <laughs> I got this at O'Hori's. Look at that's my gnome mug. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. They yeah. have really great. You, did you know that I got this at O'Hori's too? Oh, you did? Yeah, uh, that's the, the one on St. Francis. Um, mm -hmm. They have great um, coffee paraphernalia there. It's oh, great. They have all kinds of stuff there that I really like. Yes, it's awesome. So I'm going to do what I normally do is you're supposed to do two tablespoons I do two and a half sometimes three for two cups uh, for two cups yeah why oh Laura Gardner's sharing our coffee moment with us we wish you oh, were here to have yeah. coffee with us <laughs> hi Laura I wish you were here I wish we could have coffee together we could talk it would be great we could talk all about the coffee <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty two and a half because this mug is actually two cups of coffee <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a swimming pool with a handle. <laughs> handle, but you know you get it on there. All right. So while this is heating up, and it only takes a few more seconds, I'm going to talk to you about sugar. So I really like 
there's this um, French brand called, oh my God, now I'm forgetting it, La Perot. It's a, there's a parrot on it, and I think it's from Madagascar. And it's this amazing oh. tube. You've seen it when you go to Clifudi, they have the same one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's raw cane sugar from some amazing tropical island that hopefully you're helping the economy. Yeah. For. <laughs> This one is new. It's the first time. And they're brown sugar cubes. It's called La Medina. And oh, nice. From uh, Mauritius, that that island, I think, off the coast of Africa. And it's, um, look at this. Look at how beautiful these cubes are. They're just. I love brown sugar cubes. They're, I think they're, they're so beautiful. Not, not refined. Oh, yeah. just, um, oh beautiful. Amazing. And um, uh oh, so uh, one of the Croatians is mad at me right now. <laughs> I'm not using the Croatians. Oh, <laughs> that was wrong. <Rosa. laughs> wow, the Croatian thing is a whole other scenario. That's another show. Yes, okay. absolutely. I've had coffee with Croatians before. <laughs> you know, everybody has their thing, you know, and then there's a whole Turkish coffee thing. You know, there's so, there's so many ways, mm -hmm. but this is my, this is what I've morphed into doing for my daily, but I have my special things too. Um, like when I have dinner parties, like not right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I like one cube, so I just put it in there. Um, and then I get my foamer ready. And you know, these things are amazing. This one- yes, That is my favorite device. <laughs> this one's made by um, Nespresso. And basically mm -hmm. it has this little coil in here. Mm -hmm. And you fill it up to a certain level with half and half. Um, and it makes perfect, I mean, perfect latte foam. Absolutely it, perfect. Mine is not that brand. Mine, I don't know. I got it on Amazon. It was like 30 bucks. It is the best thing I ever bought for 30 bucks. I know. It I have, I have, it up. It's just, it's fabulous. Mine has a cold setting too. So if you want cold foam, if you're making a cold coffee. Um, you can do both. Mine, yeah. I can do both mine too. Awesome. And also, um, I have the I have a thirty dollar one also as backup, um, yes. but this one that Sarah got me, it's like a Mercedes. It has a lifetime guarantee. If it yeah. breaks, they send you a new one because it won't break. It's so it's great. Like, yes, so coffee with Croatians lasts all day. All the Croatians I've known, you are correct. <laughs> you want to call me? I don't know. Um, all day, all night. Yeah. <laughs> Never stop talking. Um, of course, organic, half and half. Um, you have to have organic um, dairy products, I think. If yep, you're gonna I'm with you on that. I, I never do anything less than organic dairy products. And I can't, you know, I've tried. I've tried different kinds of milks with instead. And it's just not the same. Um, I don't like the taste of the coconut milk. It doesn't froth. There's, there's no other milk substitute that actually works like, like half and half for me either. I know. I don't know what to do. I feel like I would like to go dairy free if, it, if there is a, or in this case, if there were something that even tasted remotely the same, but it doesn't. Okay. So this is what I learned. So the hot water super hot. I'm pouring it in and I'm just pouring it over the ground to for and you just get them wet. This is called allowing the coffee to bloom. To bloom, yes. <laughs> I learned about this when I got the Chemdex. It taught yeah. me so much. Um, so you let it bloom for like you're supposed to let it bloom for like 30 seconds. And then after that, you start pouring it in to be however much you need it now, to be. I was told that with those other coffee things, you know, the Melita ones that went like this, that you needed to bloom the coffee, even even with those ones. That whenever you're using a pour over filter, that's what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. So now I'm gonna pour in more and I'm going to, you know, it, you're watching it drip. This is like a IV drip. It's not fast but um, it's worth it. And I am I, I think we're gonna agree with you, Rosa. She said going dairy-free excludes cream and coffee. I will agree. <laughs> agree, agree. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, <Asia. laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, that whole, one of the things I've missed during, honestly, during this time the most, is I 
just miss the cafe time, you know, going to mm -hmm. friends, I did too. going to have coffee. I mean, I did that every day, you know, yeah. it's really mm -hmm. tough not to just go and have coffee with somebody. Well, I think I have saved a hundred bucks a month. <laughs> <laughs> I know from not going out for coffee. I, we just don't. I think so far during the pandemic, I think we've gone through a Starbucks drive-through twice. In in two, what is it? Almost three months. It feels like I don't know. Who knows how many days it's been? It's been a long time. I've been going over to walking over to Iconic, and they have a really great walk-up. Everybody's wearing masks. Um, you know, they, they only let a couple people in at a time and, you know, they have great coffee and it was nice to not have to make it, but Hey, with that money you're saving, you could buy good beans, you know? There you go. Uh, and that little machine thingy you have there, Chemdex. So no excuses for the cure. Okay. So this, this person, Brett says we typically wet our filter first. It removes some of the paperweight taste and then heats the Chemex glass, which helps with brewing. Pour the hot water on the filter, then pour it out before you add the grounds. I have heard that, and I should be doing that, but you're supposed to do that. Um, yeah, I mean, so much of it, when you, when you move to a cleaner method, you can actually markedly notice the difference in not having some kind of weird taste. You get used to these weird tastes that mm -hmm. they come with water and filters and metals and stuff. Uh, but it, coffee, for some reason, really takes on the flavors of whatever it's put through. Um, unlike a lot, of, a lot of things that can not do that, um, it really does, and it makes a difference. It's just so, just incredibly delicious. Um, okay, so I'm. If this is almost done, you. This knob right here is about uh, two cups. So I'm going to just press this button on the foamer, and it's literally 90 seconds, and it's spinning around, and it's making this perfect foam. Um, that's just like having a latte or a breve or something at a coffee house. And we need to have coffee shops in our homes right now. <laughs> I, well, if I didn't have this set up, I would be in serious trouble. I'd be I'd be ordering it if I didn't have it. Your, uh, so your foamer is an espresso. I can't. I'll I'll see what mine is. Someone's asking. Mine is a I don't know v v i v r e a l. That's the one I have, and it's very similar to the one you have, Lisa. Yes, I have another one that's a bosom. That's a popular brand of French press. They make the French presses. Um, that's my other more like lesser and expensive one, and it works great. Um, so I have two you now. <laughs> yeah, we gotta have a backup plan in case. <laughs> I used to use this thing. I used to use this thing to foam up this little. Um, it's like an egg beater thing that has a battery in it. I was using that for weeks, and um, my friend Sarah, she's like, oh, my God, please tell me that you're not. <laughs> like, what? No, that Homer thing changed my life. <laughs> she's like, sure. And I just got it in the mail, and I was like, what is it? Okay, here, I'm pouring the coffee. Yay. Oh, I can smell it from here. And, um, I'm just smell my little inferior coffee. <laughs> Anyway, she gave it to me, and I was like, oh. <laughs> I know. It's like from the God. <laughs> um, so, okay, this is done. I, I tap it down like the barista does uh, to separate it a little bit. I stir the sugar um, to get it to incorporate into there. And then you just pour out this luscious, perfect thing of foam and cream oh my god it's oh just, i can see it coming to the top oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> you really want to get crazy um what i've been doing what i've been doing is um i spent time in um mexico city a few years ago making a movie and i i just got used to oh my god the coffee in mexico is awesome mm. 
so good. Some of the best coffee I've ever had. And uh, they put cinnamon on top of the coffee. Yes. Um, you know, I some sometimes people, put that in the foamer. Um, yes. I'll put a little cinnamon in there. Cinnamon, or you could make it a mocha if you're feeling crazy, you know, with chocolate, whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, this is what I'm going to enjoy right now before my next meeting. Nice. Here, cheers. <laughs> I wish I could give you a cup. Cheers. I know. <laughs> my husband made me a nice little cup. <laughs> oh, my God. This is so good. You know, I didn't. I know. There's nothing like that coffee. I didn't use the Chemdex this morning. I used the regular pour over, and I swear to God, I can tell the difference. Yeah, it's not the same. That that's magical. That 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 thing, <laughs> that oh hand blown glass thing. <laughs> it's so good. I mean, it's life's too short, just like anything else, to not have you know the best coffee that you can. Mm -hmm. Um. So I wish we could just hang out. Caffeine moment. <laughs> Just hang out in my backyard. I know. Well, it's coming. It's coming. I know it is. <laughs> All right. Well, have a great rest of your day. Thank you. You and too. Thank you for sharing a coffee moment with us. <laughs> yes, and please, everybody, send in your coffee secrets and your ideas, and we need to know. Yeah. We need to we need to add it to our coffee repertoire. <laughs> Oh, before you go, sometimes we have this one. I didn't talk about this, but this is MCT oil. Yeah. You ever had that in your no. coffee? No. Uh, this is, uh, it's made from coconut. This is organic coconut MCT oil. It's supposed to help with your energy and to, um, it helps fat digestion. It's, it's really good for you and brain and your brain. Where did you get um, it? I got that at Costco, but you can get it on Amazon too. Um, it's just the, for that, uh, the, I think it's the least expensive I found it is at, at, um, at Costco. Okay. Uh, I'll post a little link about MCT oil. <laughs> uh, well, have a great rest of your day, my friend. <laughs> you too. Everybody out there, thanks for watching. and. Um, Manja. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Hey, <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>